Ron Paul has been winning the majority or at least the plurality of delegates for the Republican National Convention in many of the states that have held their conventions so far. The mainstream media is not reporting very much about it, but there are stories floating about for the public to see. We do need these stories to get out into the public so that when Ron Paul is selected as a Republican nominee for president, our country does not go into an uproar calling us cheaters or something of the like. The problem that people outside our camp will have with Ron Paul takeovers at the state conventions and at the national convention that it seems like we're disfranchising the voters who voted for Romney, Santorum, or Gingrich. I am no expert, but the way I see it, the current system for electing delegates via district conventions, via state conventions, is a check and balance against geographical and even fiscal disenfranchisement. What I mean is this, Mitt Romney has the most money, being a millionaire a few hundred times over, and is in tight with the bankers and high rollers. For him to win a particular state, he will spend the most money and do it in the most effective way. For example, in Alaska, what would be at to advertise in Anchorage Matsu area? And forget about the rest of Alaska. If he wins enough votes in the Anchorage Matsu districts, it is densely populated enough that it would not matter much if the whole rest of the state would voted for him or not. Think about another large state with a dense population like California or even New York. If he spent all his money in just New York City, LA, San Francisco, etc., and said screw you to the outlying cities and towns, he could win the popular vote in the state while disenfranchising the importance of the smaller areas. I am not citing this has happened, just that the possibility exists. The checks and balances come with each district electing delegates to go to the state convention. In the Anchorage Matsu area, the population is about 389,000 and comprises of districts 13 through 32 of the 40. They can elect a combined total of 270 of the 550 delegates to the Alaska State Convention. All the other villages and cities combined for the rest a whopping 334,000, allocating the other 280 delegates. So even though the Anchorage Matsu area contains 54% of the population of the state, they are only allocated 49% of the delegates. So it's very possible for a candidate to spend lots of money on the most populated areas and win the popular vote and then disfranchise the rural areas. The check and balance against this is what allow a higher ratio of delegates to the population for the outlying districts so that they can be more fairly represented. If Mitt Romney were to win all of the Anchorage Matsu districts but Ron Paul were to win all the remaining areas, Mitt Romney have won the majority of the popular vote as for our state's population, the Anchorage Matsu area. If the contest were simply majority rule, then Romney could buy and take over the entire state and get all the delegates. But this is not a pure democracy. This is a constitutional republic. The burden of the checks and balances, however, will always lie on the lower class. Those from rural Alaska had to spend a lot of money to become representatives, travel hundreds of miles to play out that check. So in our country, passion can count as much or more than population. Also, be it noted that if pushed hard enough, passion will outweigh and outperform greed. Also, if you take into account the type of person who would take the time and spend the money to become a delegate is probably, in general, more informed, politically or otherwise, than the average citizen. If 90% of the elections are won by the candidate with the most money, that can imply the best person for the job does not always win the race. In that case, it is necessary for a passionate minority to be able to have a weapon against the wealthy, power-seeking elite. That weapon is the delegate system. So Ron Paul supporters are not cheating or disenfranchising anyone by turning out in droves to the district and state conventions. It takes a certain level of prior disenfranchisement toward a minority and passion for a deep cause to stir so many people to such a drastic reaction. We know from prior experience in general elections that the popular vote does not mean a win. Why should so many people be surprised that this happens at a local and state level as well? This is not a democracy. The majority do not rule the minority. This is a system where the informed minority will always have a weapon against the corrupt and or powerful. This is a system that allows the poor to rise up against the wealthy and protect their life, liberty, and property in a non-violent manner. This is a system where the passionate minority can legally and ethically defeat, if necessary, and I would say now is that time. Please share this with as many people as you think should hear something like this. 
the people need to know what is happening. They need to know that when Ron Paul wins the nomination, why and how he did so. They need to see what an informed, passionate, freedom-loving people can do in the face of tyranny.